Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the CUAV V5 Plus flight controller and Neo V2 GPS module. In this video, I'm going to show you how to initially set up the system and go over the features and specs of these items. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to use the V5 Plus flight controller along with the CUE MK15 digital transmission system. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box of the V5 Plus flight controller, along with the flight controller itself, you can find a pretty long USB to USB Type-C cable, a user manual that shows you all the pinouts of the connectors of the flight controller, a high voltage power module that supports a continuous current of up to 60 amperes and between 3 to 14 S batteries, a Wi-Fi module that will enable you to wirelessly configure the flight controller over Wi-Fi, an I2C extension hub that will enable you to connect more accessories or sensors to the flight controller, two double-sided tapes, a bag with harnesses for connecting a radio receiver to the flight controller, and you are also getting a 16GB micro SD card, which is pre-inserted to the micro SD card slot. As for the Neo V2 GNSS GPS model, which by the way also double acts as a safety switch, it comes with a quick start guide and a bracket and accessories for mounting the GPS unit on top of your drone. In terms of features and specs, the V5 Plus flight controller features two powerful processors, three gyro chips, an onboard barometer, a digital compass, it supports up to 14 PWM outputs, it has a USB Type-C connector, it can be powered using two power modules, and it has plenty of UART and I2C ports. In addition, it can be flashed with both PX4 and autopilot firmware, so using, for example, the Q ground control application, you'll be able to flash your desired firmware. As for its weight, the flight controller on its own weighs 91.7 grams, and here you can see its different outer dimensions. As for the Neo V2 GPS model, it features two LEDs which are going to indicate whether you've got a GPS lock, it has a built-in safety switch, and it is designed to work with the V5 Plus flight controller, and it is connected to it using this dedicated port. On its own, the GPS model weighs 41.2 grams, and including the metal bracket, the total weight is about 49 grams. As for configuring the V5 Plus flight controller, accessing the different options and flashing new firmware is done using the Q ground control application, which is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and iOS and Android mobile devices. Out of the box, the flight controller comes pre-flashed with PX4 firmware, however, mine came with an outdated version, so it is recommended to update the latest stable version, and of course, if you'd like to, you can also flash autopilot firmware. In addition, using the provided Wi-Fi adapter, you'll be able to access all the different options which are available in the desktop app, besides flashing new firmware to the flight controller, and all you need to do is to connect your mobile device to the newly generated Wi-Fi network and open the Q ground control application in order to access all the different options. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick hands-on review of the CUAV V5 Plus system. I know that a lot of information was left behind and that's because I had to hurry up and release this video because I promised CUAV that I'm going to release it before Black Friday. Currently, they're having some promotions, so in case you are interested in their products, check out the links down below. And they also told me that in case you are going to reach out to them and tell them that you were referred to them by me, you're going to get a further discount. I'm going to use this flight controller in an upcoming build video, which in my opinion is going to be very interesting, as I am building a long range system, which is going to enable me to further push radio and video equipment. So stay tuned for this video, which hopefully is going to be up in the next month or so. I wish you all happy flying and see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.